What's up? Welcome to another one. It's time for tennis. So this is my playtest review of the 10X Excalibur Pro. I got it in a 27.5 inch and I think in the 300 or 303 gram spec. I forget what they say. And this is basically a follow-up video to a review video that I did, which is based off of my first impressions. You should definitely watch that video if you haven't already. Um, it's probably going to be one of my most critical videos just because I had so many criticisms of this racket just based on opening it and getting to know it before I even strung it up or really put my own base grip on there. I had so many things that I observed about the racket that I wasn't happy with and then dealing with customer service just pointing these things out to them. They were not pleasant at all. Like even just talking to them was all it always felt off. It always felt off talking to them and then when I really broke it down to the core issues I had with this racket they were completely unhelpful and and also just rude. Um, I started some forums on that, and uh, I did a video on how that went, and I'm in the middle of a in the middle of a dispute with them actually. So we'll see how that goes. I'll try to keep you guys updated, but uh, I just figured I should do a play test. So this is my obligatory, obligatory, obligatory. Oh my god, obligatory play test video of the 10x Excalibur. So I feel the Uniflex technology that they're talking about. The whole racket does kind of flex as one piece. Um, it's different in the sense that a lot of rackets have a flex point that's more concentrated around the throat, which I actually prefer. I prefer the more modern rackets that have that throat concentrated flex because it kind of allows you to crack the racket like a whip. If you have a handle that doesn't flex too much and the flex point is sort of behind the head and sort of at the throat, it really just allows you to whip and crack the racket around in such a way that I really think plays to the strength of the modern spin type of tennis, which is definitely more my game. So maybe this racket feels a little bit more like those wooden rackets back in the day. The company markets it being sort of a pro stock quality, but that's not really true. And I talk about why in my last video about this racket. So again, watch that if you just want to hear a lot more information on what I have to say and what my criticisms of this racket are. But from the perspective of a play test, um, I was able to observe their Uniflex tech and it's fine. It, I, I mostly just like I noticed that it's there and how it affects my tennis But I wouldn't necessarily recommend it for anybody. It feels like a technology that I just don't really quite understand its place in the modern game, but you know to each their own everyone's got a Preference for the type of racket that they're looking for But I think just about everybody would hope to have better quality control than this racket offered me um, that being said, I found the racket was pretty nice for slices, partly because the beam is so thin, so you, you feel like you're just less likely to shank balls because, well, quite frankly, you probably are with such a thin beam. Um, so that was nice, but that really didn't translate to uh, me feeling like the racket was very good at producing spin in general. So slicing is one thing, but actually generating a lot of pace and coming over the ball and hitting a really heavy topspin ball, not really that kind of racket. Um, it's maybe better for the c control type of players or something like that, but even then I wouldn't necessarily think this is the best racket for that. I just don't really know what this racket is the best for. But again, my first impressions have already created a bias that I'm not going to be able to look past too much. The quality control again was just kind of abysmal. It didn't feel that stable on off-center shots, it kind of noticeably unstable actually. And I guess overall, my opinion of it's kind of just average. Like, it really stood out on the slices, but for the rest of my game, I didn't really care for it. I felt a little bit held back because, again, it's just not so good at redirecting pace and uh, generating a lot of topspin. Now, I play with a lot of topspin, so I'm still getting quite a bit, and I hit with spin-friendly strings and all that stuff, so it's going to look like... I'm getting maybe a lot of topspin with this racket, but I promise you it's got more to do with my technique than it does the racket. I certainly get way more uh, weight and spin on my other rackets, which aren't even like marketed as topspin type rackets. So it is what it is, um, but I just felt like I should do a play test and talk about this racket a little bit anyway. I can see that some of the characteristics of this racket would be desirable for some people. Like if you want a more old school feeling racket, that is also extended length, this might actually be an option potentially worth considering, but if you run into any issues, I really can't guarantee that 10X is going to be very helpful because one, they don't have much presence outside of Australia, so for most people that's going to mean dealing with uh, customer service internationally. And on top of that, I just always felt like conversations with customer service were basically either unhelpful or rude. And you can see that again in my other video regarding uh, 
just my overall first impressions with this racket and the company. Um, but yeah, maybe this racket sort of has a place, and maybe I got a really bad example of the racket, but their service was what it was for me, and I just can't, I just can't really recommend them based on my experience at all. What else can I say about this racket? Maybe I don't have much left to say. <laughs> so I guess I'll leave it at that. Um, thanks for watching, and subscribe so that you can see future reviews of other rackets. I'm going to be talking about another racket that I'm actually quite a fan of. I'm not sure if I'd switch to it necessarily, but I really have a lot of good things to say about it. So stay tuned for that. And if you want to see my review, this is a fun point, of this racket, you can see my first impressions, and it'll be very clear why. I'm kind of talking about this racket with the tone that I am. So yeah, watch that video if you want a more thorough impression of the racket. Um, but you can already tell from my play test, I'm not really a big fan of it, but I can kind of see maybe it sort of has a place somewhere for somebody out there. But hopefully there's something better out there for somebody that's looking for what this racket has to offer. That's all I'll say. Always keeping my eye out for rackets in the extended length range that aren't insane. Um, and those are kind of few and far between. I do have a Yonex V-Core 98 Plus and an E-Zone 98 Plus, and I'll talk about that because I know those rackets really well. I've had them for quite some time, but I've yet to do a review on them. That was something I got to know before I started this channel. So stay tuned if you're interested in that. And uh, sorry for study <laughs> stuttering. Oh my God, I almost said studying. Jeez, it's late, and I'm just going to let that work its way into the edit because i'm so honest usually but you know it's just a good laugh i suppose really as is this racket um if you watch the whole video you might be kind of shocked at how bad some of the details of this racket really were and then man the customer service on top of that is just icing on the cake so watch that maybe it's a good laugh and yeah <laughs> that's my playtest review it's partly a review and partly a recommendation to maybe keep looking so yeah see you guys in a future video thanks for watching like subscribe do all that crap that everybody asks you to do because i actually really appreciate it i'm trying to grow this channel the bigger my channel grows the stronger my opportunity is to uh offer you reviews and whatnot so yeah keep the love coming i appreciate it and i'll try to keep making content for you guys and we can just keep it like that so yeah i appreciate you guys see you in the next one bye